Hello YouTube, this is your boy Klesia Glavi and I'm back again with another video. In today's video, we are going to learn on how to do a full body retouching without wasting much time. Let's dive into it. This tutorial was a request from one of my viewers to do a tutorial and a full body portrait so i'll first open my action panel open the frequency separation group then select my retouching action so at this point i'm going to set my radius so for the radius i'll use two for the radius uh, as you can see I'm looking for a place that has more textures so that I can blur it out so after playing my action start zooming up a little bit to start my retouching process as you can see I'm mixing up my skin tones it's a by little you don't have to be in a hurry you have to take your time when mixing up your skin tones so little by little I'm mixing it up this image was color graded with capture one and if indeed you want to know how to color grade in capture one you can leave a comment below so that I do a tutorial on capture one color grading so mixing up little by little and in case you have any request on a tutorial you want me to work on you can still leave a comment below so that i do a tutorial on that specific request so i'm mixing up skin tones little by little little by little mixing them up don't have to be in a hurry you have to take your time and mix them up so that don't spoil the amazing skin tones in your image so take my time mix them up and when mixing them up you have to mix the mid tones alone and mix the highlights alone and the shadows alone for this tutorial I'm not going to speed it up because upon request my viewer wish to enjoy every little step in my retouching process so without keeping you boring you can enjoy some cool music as i continue with my retouching process so see you soon 
in case today happens to be the first day watching one of our tutorials or you've not subscribed to our channel kindly like subscribe and press on the notification bell so that you don't miss out whenever we upload a new video
so right now we are done with our retouching process so this is the before and after before after before after before after so at this point i'm going to remove some blemishes from my model's face see we are on a wrong layer that's why the blemishes is not removing so you see after i selected my texture layer now whenever i click on a blemish it easily gets replaced so i'm doing the cleanup process on my model's face So right now, I'm almost done with my cleanup process. So I'm going to whiten the teeth and the eyes. So I'll first select the cooling filter LBB. So I'll press command or control I to invert my layer mask. Then select my brush tool. Then paint over the eyes. Paint the white portion of the eye so after painting I'll then move to the teeth but before I move to the teeth let me increase the density of the photo filter for us to see how it really works so as you can see I'm applying the effect on the teeth so when whitening the teeth and I have to take time so that you don't slip off to a different place that is not part of the teeth or eye so i think the effect is too much so i'll move to the cooling filter 80 I will then select my hue and saturation then reduce the saturation all the way down in order not to repeat the same process on applying the effects on the eye and teeth I will copy the layer mask of the Auto filter to the hue and saturation. I'll then group them by holding Control or Command G and reduce my opacity a little bit so that the effect wouldn't be much you can go back to watch on how to whiten eyes and teeth 
in Photoshop or you can tap on the link at the top right corner of this video so at this point we are going to add some amazing skin tones to it so for that you select the gradient map and select any of our preferred map then reduce the opacity all the way down to 20 and then set the blending mode to soft light so this is the before and after before after of the skin tone before after before after so because we want to see the overall before and after i will then select all the three layers then press ctrl or command g to group them so before after so because i want the effect to be on the frequency separation i will then clip it to my fs group then increase the opacity to 25 then set a blending mode to make it better so i will just move it a little bit then hold alt to split them out then bring it back so before after before after before after before after so as you can see the effect is being applied on both the background and the model so i will then select the background layer then go to properties go to select subject so as you can see the model has been selected so i'll select the fs group then mask it so at this point the effect is being applied only on our model and not the background so before after I have a tutorial on how to add skin tones to a photo so you can go to our previous videos to watch the tutorial or you can click on the link at the top right corner of this video so this is the end of this tutorial don't forget to subscribe like and comment see you in the next video bye